thousands of people take out protest rally against April 14 Paknung gang raped in Imphal. People observe dark day across the state to commemorate the 1891 Anglo Manipur War. Police commando and 6 AR recover huge cache of arms and ammunition of United Socialist Revolutionary Army in Hyro Plain. And PHED Minister Losi Dikho promises to provide drinking water to every household by 2019. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News and I'm Premi Thangjum bringing you the top stories. Thousands of people today took out a protest rally against the April 14 Paknung gang rape in Imphal. CSOs, student organizations, women organizations and people belonging to different communities participated in the rally chanting slogans against the incident. The rally was organized by core committee of Paknung gang rape of two minor girls begin from Ima Kuntok Hanbi on DM College campus and pass through Kweathong Dinku Road, Lamlong and Minutong before concluding at Ima Kuntok Hanbi Sanglin to hold a public meeting. Convener of the core committee and Jiban Mala condemned the rape of two minor girls and demanded stern actions against the culprits at the earlier. The ICPS, Child Welfare Committee, Social Welfare Department and National Commission for Women to take necessary actions. Jiban Mala also appealed to the government to deliver justice to the victims. It may be mentioned that a gang of seven had raped the two girls on April 14, Tairauba evening at Pagnum. One of the seven accused involved was produced before the CGM Imphal East Pokso Special Court on the 25th of this month and was remanded to four days police custody for further questioning. Six other accused in the case have already been sent to juvenile home. Hingnabagi matang da makoida yam na dim oi ba makoida yam na depression lag pa sina sing ba wakalon ama burden ama lay baduina adum tau bo si masana da bani ko adubu makoida koi na psychosocial intervention ama government gi side tagi bibi ba pa me not only for money pa sa du dagi wan na ti hai ba just support tori Manipur da lay ba government gi side tagi adagi koi gi mayam lazari ba miyam na su masi support tori magi da makta koi miyam lay di hai ba du unpa gi wan ba ko Asigumba gang rapis sing sa makoi sing sibu matik sabak hak pacerak pi dragadi matung da asigumba sa hanjan hanjan tok tana they will be always tempted ko to commit that crime aduna tau gani hai bagi keno da kena masigi keno si sinjaban. Dark Day was observed across the state to mark the 1891 Anglo-Manipur War. International Peace and Social Advancement, IPSA, today observed Dark Day at GM Hall to commemorate the 1891 Anglo-Manipur War where Manipur was defeated by the British. The British hoisted a Union Jack flag at the Kangla while Manipur lost its sovereignty. Speaking at the event, Speaker Yumnam Kim Chan said, the government is ready to have discussions with scholars, experts, and different organizations to resolve the controversy over the 1891 Kongtum War. Members of various CSOs, historians and people from different walks of life attended the event. Speakers emphasized the need for a single day in state multiple dates for observing across the state in remembrance and respect to the great contributions made by known as well as unknown Manipuri martyrs in the 1891 war against the British soldiers. The dark day was also observed in some places of Bishnupur and Thaubal district as well as in many other educational institutes. <laughs> I Tawai Hassan Yona Pangsagan, social organization of Vigera, politician of Vigera, Punamosi, Himais and Bidi Prazani. Prazazi Hobum Sangasini, Prazana Hodana, Yawamata, my Pawai, Prazaki Kutan Lindi. 
Thaubal Apunbalup International Peace and Social Advancement also observed a day at Thaubal Mela Ground. Titular King Lai Chambers and Ajauba, people of the area including students took part in the event. Lai Chambers and Ajauba led the people in paying floral tributes to the freedom fighters. He said so many untoward incidents are taking place in Manipur. He said the people should know their responsibilities and fulfill them with a sense of patriotism. Dark Day was also observed at Kaino. International Peace and Social Advancement, Ipsa and Apun Bamayai Kaba Chinjak Thingbalup jointly organized the event at Kaino Tongkong Community Hall. In an operation, a combined team of Imphal West District Commando and six Assam Rifles under all recovered huge cache of arms and ammunition belonging to an underground outfit this morning. The recovered arms and ammunition include two AK-17 rifles, one MA-3 assault rifles, a 9mm pistol, seven magazines, three camouflage pouches and 215 life rounds. They were displayed before the media at the office of the SP Imphal West. SP Imphal West and Herojit told the media that, acting on a tip-off, the combined team conducted cordon and search operation early this morning around 2.30 at Hyrook Lane in Kangpokpi district under Andro Police Station. The team led by Deputy SP Operation Imphal West, Thangko Chan Haukib and OC Commando Imphal West, Thangam Pao, conducted door-to-door -door search. The huge cache of arms was discovered in a granary inside the house of Swantak, Lamthialal Wi-Fi during the operation. When being interrogated, Swantak disclosed that the arms belonged to an underground outfit, United Socialist Revolutionary Army, USRA. Swantak has been handed over to Andro Police Station for further interrogation. <laughs> Santak Lanmin la Lanmin Lang Wi Fi have a see Kwai Fare Pari Misiga Kwe Arm and Ammunitions recovered to the Sega Kwe Andro Police Station and the Kwe Yamtuna Sinakragani Palweski Marwina Commando Police Personnel Loyamak Hai Riva Kwegi CI Operation Gisabakasi Makatana Adun continue to gani anti social elements in Matakta Sataba Drive Chow Sova Kwe Liquor Gi Drive Taugeba Chow Sova Semen Pangiba Kotkiba Adum Masilei Two suspected World War II bombs were recovered in an area in Bishnupur district. The bombs were discovered at the house of 35-year-old Namirapam Brajeshwar in Ka Potsangbam while digging the art to construct a toilet yesterday. On hearing the news, a team of Bishnupur police arrived at the spot and took away the bombs. A team of bomb disposal squad of Manipur police and Bishnupur police safely disposed of the bombs this morning at Koiraban. According to a bomb disposal squad, the bombs might have been dropped by air during the World War II. PHED Minister Lucy Dicko has assured that the government will provide drinking water to every household in Manipur by 2019. Minister Lucy Dicko today promised to visit 60 assembly constituencies in the state to ensure safe drinking water to every household. He said the government will work relentlessly towards the vision of Prime Minister Narendra Modi to provide a drinking water to every household by 2019. The minister inspected the water supply schemes in Nauria Pakang Lakpa constituency today. He was accompanied by Nauria Pakang Lakpa MLA Shoibam Subhas Chandra, Executive Engineer of PHED CH Lokendro, and Assistant Engineer M. Damodar. The team inspected the water supply scheme under construction in between Haubam Marak Ngangom Lekai and Kaisham Lekai and the condition of the water supply schemes at Sangai Pro Mamang Lekai, Malom Tuliyaima, Malom Tulihal, Lairinjam Kodompopi, Mamang, and Langtabal Puramakong. Pipes we have found to be leaking in these schemes and the ratio of people to reserver did not match. There were also shortage of electric pumps and absence of fence walls. Leiden Jum water supply was laying unused for the last eight years after the pipes were damaged. The minister instructed the PHED officials to take necessary steps to upgrade the water supply schemes. 
He also instructed them to organize awareness programs in the locality to keep the surroundings of the water supply schemes neat and clean. They also inspected the site of Yanthang Water Supply Scheme, which will be constructed at a cost of 465 lakh rupees. There are some uh, uh, things to be addressed. There are some uh, areas to be repaired. There are some areas to be expanded. And then uh, we have seen a lot of uh, issues, uh, but uh, this will be taken up. Water resources that has been taken is basically from the groundwater, from the f uh, pond. We need the, the environment to be clean. I could see that a lot of people are doing well, but still, now I will instruct my department that they should, every water supply scheme in that area, we should keep uh, dustbin so that people, whoever visit, should maintain the, the environment very clean. MLA S. Subhash Chandra said there are many areas in the constituency which do not get safe drinking water. He stated that the government will provide safe drinking water to every household in Nauria Pakang Lakpa by this year. Singi problem si, tu kita mati gay tak nabi sing si dah. Anu gua, kerajaan si na, thami gua, bijan si, tak nabi sing dah priority pi bni tu na. Koi orang pun si minister lagi, sing makah dah, koi kunggangi. Adi yum thongi sing pangan apa gigi, sangsi lagi apa kung thang si dah koi orang pun PST minister lagi, loi nana naui lagi rail water supply scheme gigi makah dah pay kali apa project sing tu na, kami sentong nana sing si pi nana apa koi orang pun minister lagi tanah jaga tu gua tu pi nana kono jaga ni. The prayer for hearing the curative petition by the Government of India against the Extrajudicial Execution Victim Families Association, Manipur, even has been rejected by the Supreme Court of India. A five-judge bench of the Supreme Court, led by Chief Justice J.S. Kehar, rejected the petition on the 26th of this month. In pursuant of the decision made by Nagaland cabinet in a meeting, the recognition of Rongmai tribe as one of the indigenous Naga tribes of Nagaland, which was notified by Nagaland government on August 4, 2012, has been withdrawn with immediate effect. According to an official statement, a total of 1,313 people belonging to Rongmai tribe, already identified by the Nagaland government through special enumeration process as having permanently settled in the present territory of Nagaland prior to 1st of December 1963, the notification further said the Rongmai tribe along with their legitimate descendants would continue to enjoy the status, privileges and entitlements of indigenous inhabitants of Naglin, unlike the ones being enjoyed by members of other indigenous inhabitants who had permanently settled in the present territory of Naglin prior to 1st of December 1963 as notified by the state government of notification stated 6 of August 1973 and dated 28 of April 1977. A project named Free from Hepatitis C was launched today at an event jointly organized by Community Network for Empowerment, Korn and Babina Diagnostic at Manipur Press Club. Speaking on the occasion, President of Korn, R.K. Nalini Kanta, stated that Hepatitis C claims about 35 lakh lives each year. According to the report of World Health Organization, India is the most affected country in the world. R.K. Nalini Kanta said the disease is curable if treated continuously for three months. He said the project launched today will provide free treatment to many people affected by disease. Nalini Kanta also appealed to government and departments concerned to extend all help in eradicating the disease completely. In short, stay tuned for the hepatitis C. The when we are seeing the sign of hepatitis virus, and even the I think a lot of people are seeing the sign of hepatitis. But some of the doctors are getting liver sick, or they have some kind of cirrhosis, they have some kind of liver cancer, or some kind of life situation. Even like, and who I think no one can be. What is it? What is the treatment? Who am I? Han, but the upper lakhi, but the thing is, the treatment of that. But some of the things are not there. Ini pun sangat baik. Jadi, kalau sing kuni maka ada layak bayar eh, kerana nak cure tu bayar eh. Ah, aku pun dengan jenis sendiri ayam bah, ada type sendiri. Si, si ki point sendiri dengan jenis berapa tu kerja mas, 
awareness mayam the mushi may mga batong virus ni may prosunod na mga kamite. The Staff of Assembly Secretariat have condoled the death of Muhammad Abdullah, who worked as a Jamadar in the Secretariat. Time for a small commercial break. Lots more coming up right after this break. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the break and you're watching Prime Time English News. A sit-in was held at Naharo Lai Shemba Club, NLC, Thangmai Bansinam Lai Kai today against the attempt to abduct its president Lai Sang Thim Pratap and member Irom London. Sources said a group of persons in uniform tried to abduct Pratap and Irom London last midnight around 1.30. Locals came out and prevented their arrest by the men in uniform who came without arrest warrants. They said... They left saying they were from Imphal East Police. Lai Shang Pratap received serious injury while trying to escape from their custody and is now admitted at the hospital. Thangmaiban MLA K. H. Joy Kishin termed the incident as unfortunate. He said this kind of incident had occurred in Imphal West District where Armed Forces Special Powers Act as far has been revoked. The MLA said he will write to the DGP to find out the people responsible behind the act. He also appealed to the government to take appropriate actions. Kamain tau dana koi ki central forces singshna arm forces special power ek log thui bas jagah si da chang agat thirak pano hai bas e masi ma ek singna khang badraka lay tau ning tau ning badra tau bagi phiwa mama la alaga di madu yam na aran bohu moi gani Sri Pratap Club sigi thabak tau raga yam na chamna pun Sri Lanka ne se lay kai miyam khud mangla loy na khang bohu phong hatani mak si koi ki NLC club ke president oi badna tau na time bo United club ke su vice president oi na. Lepas itu tahu tak ada, tahu tak ada nolai bermu eh mana? Asyikum laba social worker, saya am masih masih mangan nampak sangat lebih kongtang se. Government ini nak tuh matam dek sel lokal laga. Jenari pa asyikum laba logi wang mana sangat sel lebih kulai bermu sini kanan web se. Fong na hidup kita bani. Madu ngampam tu i, makoi ke lain kan makan lain force ngatur ni na. Nanti kalau di masih miam gak, cakap ibu ibu orang malak pun matam dek madu kita itu se. Pali bermu government ini org kita bani hidup se masih kong kita bani. Vice President of Thangmaiban United Club, Thao N.G. Ghanashyam, condemned the incident. He said, it is unfortunate that people who contribute to society are being threatened. Waran yau daba mima pah bayar daba mampu sida. Ahiing nongai ma tung datang aga mibu pah aga. Ma kau ni pula kau hendom bagi hai bagi wakulun man ba. Pula la nagi thabak saya masih. Ma tung dah thamai bandar. Ma mana thon bida naba. Kau gigi thamai bandar United Club kimi kai dagi. Kau gigi. Kerajaan sida miang sang sin biu hai dunai kau na. Yam kan hai jadi malam di. Ma mang rasu asih gumbat mibu pah aga mangan gigi bagi thodok kaya dagi. Kau gigi mani pula si. Sarang na dunai lembas ya. Ino no no mu hok dorok pas saya masih thon bida nu hai bersih matang di. Kau gigi. Kerajaan sida kau na tham jadi. In a rare medical case, a team of dentists led by Dr. Koijam Shashikumar of RIMS successfully removed a 4mm stone from underneath the tongue of a patient. The successful surgery was performed today on Thiam Devin, 35 years, son of Thiam Komo from Mayang Imphal. Haigum Yangbi. Twelve Assam Rifles reunited a misguided youth who ha was joined the UNLF with his family. In a press release, PRO Assam Rifles said the UNLF cadre identified as Laishram Ibungo from Imphal East District realized his mistake and escaped from the training camp in Myanmar and moved back. He was intercepted by Assam Rifles on 22nd of April 22 and re reunited with his grandmother on April 23rd. An anti-rabies vaccination program was jointly organized by Veterinary Department and Naharol Sintha Kanglub NSK at Wang Kai Kai Thalasangbi Community Hall today in connection with World Veterinary Day. People from the locality brought their dogs to get anti-rabies vaccinations. Joint Director of Veterinary Department Dr. S. Thoiba told Impact News that the program is held every year in connection with World Veterinary Day observed on April 29. He said over 100 dogs were administered free anti-rabies vaccines. He also appealed to dog lovers to give them anti-rabies vaccines on time. Dr. Toiba also said anti-rabies vaccination programs will be held in other areas in Imphal East District as well. Hui angau bersih na si agadi mewu bagi punsi mangan bersih betul betul na atau pasah sendesu sumbalai na si amuk 
mari mari sandoki dana kini ngai oi maram aduna hai riba laina ase thorok tanwi da muktara ngasi kapse bani imphal scheme manung da lei bising da club sangsthan kana go mana kapning ba lei rigadi paisa amata ting dana hai ba free free vaccination camp ase pangthok pi oi aduna imphal iski join director gi office te gi smaina pogdam jage a staff of orthopedics department, Janims and Bimola, claimed to have discovered stones having the qualities of diamond in Manipur. Speaking to media persons at Manipur Press Club today, 53-year-old Bimola from Sangai among Laikai said, these stones are found in abundance in Nongpokachoba Hill in Imphal East District. She has been re researching for the last one year. She further stated, that a diamond tester was used and that she found qualities of diamond like the hardness level in these stones. She also found white sapphire and topaz during research. Bimola appealed to the department's concern to look into the matter and establish a diamond mining. <laughs> Adoi dia emasi tu gaya ni, bah tu gaya ni isim dah apa kerja sektor tu, bahnu tinggi tu bah. Kalau gumba dah hari ni tu, macam si dah red jauh raga su, suai dah dia yellow gumba, green gumba, dem lagi bersuaya way bah kuah. Asum yang gumba dem si dah si dah apa lagi dah fight chef lagi ayam bah suai dia, ini dia ini kali. Aduh kat topaz gumba, imeti gumba kuah, si gumba si suai dia ni, ini ini kali. Si yang nama orang kaya ni pang bah pot ni na, apa ni na si si na gua mana tabi ro, dah anu bah apa lagi diamond mining, ahan bah pot topaz suai dia ni, si ahan bah. Abunba Mayai Kaba Chinjak Thingba Loop today burned 200 litres of country liquor seized from Kaino area in Bishnupur district today. After burning the liquor, people took out a rally in Kaino against sale of country liquor. The 4th Riverbank Music Festival will be held for two days with a message to keep the Imphal River neat and clean. Laipungwa Entertainment will host the festival on April 29 and 30 at Nong Mai Shang in Singtamai Bhagyabati Laikai. Director of Laipungwa Entertainment Tom Mai Shnam today told the media persons at Manipur Press Club that people have a great responsibility in maintaining the Imphal River and urged the people to save the river. He said the government will be urged to build integrated waste management plan and plastic recycle plant during the festival. A seminar on the need to maintain the river, which is a source of drinking water, neat and clean, will also be held in May. Laipungwa Entertainment promotes social awareness through culture, music and other forms of entertainment. <laughs> Kau yang hendak ikut foundation jadi plan je. Kau yang tahu je. Kau yang hendak dead. Kau yang sixteen dah second rally. Kau tahu je. Tim nak kau yang integrated waste management system plastik recycling plan je. Thambi orang. Twenty nine thirty April. Sesi dah kau yang two days event je. Sesi tu pangtho ni. Sesi matung dah mau kau yang seminar mau pangtho kau ni. Kau yang Malaysia ni. Di bawah ni memang invite tau kau seminar mau kau yang pangtho kau ni. Sesi ni yang berlaku. Sesi ni sesi tu hang nuai punya entertainment hai tar. But entertainment itu agak tu kau yang kau zaman hai tar. Kau yang tahu je. Crowd ni memang sesi tu kau yang zaman zaman lah orang. Sesi tu kau yang hiding. Bahawa hari ini aku ini turun dapat tahu di hundok apa nalan bayar bersih aku ini seng aku ini turun seng nampak tu aku nanti aku ini mayam puna mak mayam puna mu responsibility ni mana pun jelah ini punya mak responsibility ni. Patriotic Writers Forum (PAWF) Manipur will release a poetry book, Imadi Ngaksham Yawre by M K Saroj Khan on April 30th at Manipur Press Club. Sahit Academy, Kolkata and Mamata's Manipuri Dance and Music Centre organised a Lyric Thiba Haiba, the Art of Storytelling at Dave Literature Centre on DM College campus today. Participants expressed the need to preserve the dying art form. And in sports news, India will host the FIFA Under-17 World Cup from October 6 to 28 this year. 24 teams from six confederates will compete in six groups. The 24 teams include five from Asia, four from Africa, five from Europe, four teams each from North Central America and Caribbean, two from Oceania and four from South America. Matches will be played at D.Y. Patel Stadium in Navi, Mumbai, Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in New Delhi, Seoul Lake Stadium in Colorado. 
Kolkata, Indira Gandhi Athletic Stadium in Guwahati, Fatorda Stadium in Margao and Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in Kochi. Altogether, 52 matches including 36 matches in the group stage 8, matches in ground of 16, quarterfinal, semi-finals, third place and final match will be played. The first match of the World Cup will be played at D.Y. Patel Stadium in Navi, Mumbai, while both the third place and final match will be played at Salt Lake Stadium in Kolkata. The first FIFA Under-16 World Championship hosted by China in 1985 is now known as FIFA Under-17 World Cup from the year 2007. Nigeria is a five-time champion of this World Cup, while Chile has hosted the World Cup the most so far. Thirty-nine men and women canoers of Old Manipur Canoeing and Kayaking Association Manipur who will take part in the second interstate school National Canoe Sprint Boys and Girls Championship 2017 and six National Dragon Boat Race Championship 2017 left in fall today. M. Shanta and Kumari Zinkrafi are the team managers while N. Austin and Salam Sanjeet are the team coach and technical officials. The championships will be held at Gauri Sarovar beyond Madhya Pradesh from May 2nd to 4th under the ages of India Canoe and Kayaking Association. In IPL cricket, Royal Challenges Bangalore will take on Gujarat Lions tonight at 8 in Bangalore. Virat Kohli let Bangalore are currently six in the 18 points table with five points. They have won just two of other eight games. Gujarat with two victories in seven matches is at the bottom with four points. Kolkata Knight Riders are at the top with Mumbai Indians second, defending champion Sunrisers Hyderabad third and rising Pune Supergiant fourth. In the last game played between the two sides early in the tournament, Bangalore had defeated Gujarat by 21 runs at Rajkot. In Pune yesterday, Kolkata Knight Riders defeated rising Pune Supergiants by seven wickets. Before we wrap up the bulletin, a quick look at the headlines once again. Thousands of people take out protest rally against four April 14 Park Noon game brief in Imphal. People observe dark day across the state to commemorate the 1891 Anglo-Manipur War. Police commando and six Assam rifles recover a huge cache of arms and ammunition of United Socialist Revolutionary Army in Hyro Plain. And PHED Minister Losi Diko promises to provide drinking water to every household by 2019. 